no waiting, no messing around. Let's just get this problem done. People hate fractions, and I don't understand it. Here, we need to take a look at it. It says 2 sevenths equals 1 third plus a. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we have to isolate the variable. We need to get this variable on by itself. So we need to look at this and say, what is exactly happening to the variable? Well, you can see I'm adding the variable to the number as I read it, so, but it, it's important for you to understand that I can also rewrite this as a plus 1 third by the commutative property of addition. So here, you can see that, obviously, um, I'm adding one third. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to subtract one third from both sides. Now we know that one third minus one third is going to equal zero plus a, which equals a. So now I've isolated my variable. Now all I need to do is figure out what is two sevenths minus one third. So to do that, what I'm going to have to do, remember when we're subtracting fractions, we have to get the same denominator. So I see, you know, what is the least common um, multiple of uh, 7 and 3? And that's going to be 21. So to get to 21 to, seven, to 3, I need to multiply by 7 over 7. And to get this to be 21, I need to multiply by 3. So therefore, what I'll obtain is 6 minus 7 over 21 which equals a negative 1 over 21. So therefore, my final answer is negative 1 over 21 equals a, or as we always like to really write it, as a equals a negative 1 over 21. And there you go.